hello, my friends. Good evening, good afternoon, or good morning to wherever you are in whatever part of your country. My name is Mario Simões, and I am so honored and privileged to have you here with us today in this wonderful workshop. And I want to say hi to some friends that are already here. Let's say the first one. There we go. Boboy Marino. Welcome, my friends. Who else is here? Let's see. Uh, Dr. Kumar, welcome. Fantastic. All from um, Saudi Arabia. Um, Archie Tendido, also Saudi Arabia. Arabia, welcome. Who else we have here? Uh, Warlin. Fadera, welcome, good morning, good evening. Right here, I am in Brazil right now. It's 12.30 um, afternoon, 30 minutes afternoon on Saturday. And most of you are in, in uh, Asia or Africa, uh, some are in Europe. And so you are ahead, ahead in, in time. So I'm so glad that you are here. Uh, you take this time to be with me today. We're going to have a wonderful time together. So as as you're coming, just you can state your your name, uh, your profession. Uh, who else? We have Romania, Emily, Buna, 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 Buna di Minyatza. <laughs> very, very good, Emily. Central Trelia, Central Trelia. Very good. So we have Europe. We have... Uh, Asia, what a what a fantastic what a fantastic audience, and it's going to grow. If you like to share this with somebody to be a part of this wonderful uh, workshop, uh, there everybody's welcome. You can just send them the link so they can be a part of this this wonderful time. And uh, again, again, it's my honor and privilege to share this time with you. So here here we're going to start today. And I want to introduce this subject. Communication, key to your professional success. Communication, key to your professional success. Also, we have uh, from Swiss, Didi. Welcome, good afternoon. Yes, wonderful. Another European country. Fantastic. We'll have uh, some more time to... to uh, interact in a few minutes. I promise I won't be long and we will be done maybe 40, 45 minutes. So you can have a, a wonderful uh, dinner, evening, afternoon, and I can have a wonderful rest of the morning. So let's begin today talking about this subject of communication, the key to your professional success. I've been uh, a speaker and mentor and author uh, for many, many years, over 20 years speaking to international audiences, both in Brazil, uh, also author of, of many books, I'll explain that, and also mentoring a lot of uh, leaders from, from many, many countries. And um, <clears throat> it's my honor to be speaking to you. These are some of the speakers that I work with. Um, uh, I used to work in the U.S. Consulate in Sao Paulo, uh, I had the privilege of meeting personally uh, President Bill Clinton when he was in Brazil. Um, I was uh, trained by Dr. John Maxwell, and I also interpreted him, and uh, Reinhard Bonnke, Dr. John Haggai, uh, Gary Chapman, who wrote uh, Five Love Languages, Bill Hybels, Willow Creek Association. So it was a, a great honor to, to just be able to... Uh, be with wonderful leaders and great communicators. I have uh, started writing about 10 years ago and I've authored already 11 books. Many of them, all of them are in Portuguese, some are in English, some in Romanian and um, uh, Italian and other, other languages, Spanish as well. So these are two of my greatest passions is to, is to write and to share with, with people. And these are uh, some of the book covers of uh, my collection that I've had over, you know, these last 10 years. Let me begin. I love stories. And those, those of you that know me um, will understand this. 
Now, stories are a great way of communicating. And this is one of my favorite stories. Story of an elderly couple that were sleeping at night in their uh, home uh, in uh, Sao Paulo. You know, Sao Paulo is one of the most violent cities in the world, unfortunately. But in the middle of the night, they, they heard a noise on the downstairs part of the house. So they came down, and they turned on the lights, and, and they saw there a thief who immediately pulled a gun, and he said, you know, now that you, now that you have uh, identified me, I, I have to eliminate the witnesses. And he said, you know, I am a very uh, traditional person. I like to know the names of my victims. And he says, I'm, I'm also polite. I like to know, you know, uh, let's begin with the ladies. Ma'am, what is your name? And the lady with a very, you know, uh, troubled and fearful voice, she said, my name is Daisy. And the thief said, Daisy, what a coincidence. Daisy is the name of my mother. And he said, Daisy, Miss Daisy, go back to your room, go back to sleep. I'm not going to do anything with you. So she left. And there was a thief and the old man. So the thief says, you know, sir, please tell me your name. And uh, the old man, you know, thought and gave a big smile and says, you know, my name is John, but everybody calls me Daisy. The future of John was at risk. He, um, you know, he, he depended on his words, depended on his actions. And you know what? Your future is also at risk. Your, your, the future of your marriage, your family, your profession, your ministry, you know, things that you do, they're very valuable. valuable. Even the people around you, they are, uh, it depends on what you do. Depends on what you say. And this is one of the things that we're going to talk about today in this area of, of uh, communication. And I know it's a, it's a great subject. It's interesting that uh, all professionals desire to communicate better. Everyone. So if I ask here, anybody here that you like to communicate better, all hands will go up. That's, that's a fact. Everybody likes, likes to communicate even in better in a, in, even in a greater way. Now, here's a great statement in question. What is the number one ability that will determine the success or failure of all professionals? One ability that if they do it well, that determines success. But if they don't do it well, that will determine failure, automatic failure. And then one ability is this, communication. The ability to communicate well in everything that you do. So that's why today we probably have here in our audience, we have uh, teachers. And teachers, what a responsibility they have to, to communicate. They have to communicate really well with their, um, with their students. And it's so important to, when teachers communicate, when they're excited, boy, a lot of good things happen. Not only teachers, but we have in our group that could benefit from good communication. Speakers and trainers, you know, like I am, maybe some of us here are um, trainers and, and speakers. We do this for a living. Communication is that key part on what we do. Communication is also a great way for leaders, how leaders really need to communicate a vision to their staff, to their team. And leaders have to become Great communicators. Without communication, the vision doesn't move. The vision doesn't move people. The vision doesn't leave the paper or the, the spreadsheet on Excel. So, yes, communication is so important. Also, communication is so essential for entrepreneurs, business people, professionals that, that have an idea, have a vision, a project, a service, a product that they want to serve. So, yeah, communication is key to communicate with your clients, to communicate with your staff, and so many other things. Now, you remember that famous quote when um, the astronauts were going to the moon, Houston, we have a problem. And this is so true because 
People understand communication is important. People value communication, but they say, I don't know how. You know, I lack the skills, I lack the knowledge to become a good communicator. Well, that's what we're going to talk about. And I want to give you here some insights on a mentorship program I created. I pulled some key ideas that I want to give you today that I know will, will be a blessing to your life. So if you're taking notes, go ahead, just take notes. And, and I know you're going to be motivated and inspired. And this, these minutes will, will make a big difference in your life. So always begin to, with the question is about your audience. Who is your audience? And I wrote here that you need, you need to know them before you can grow them. And that's so powerful. Before you add value to them, before you, you can take them from point A to point B, you need to know who they are. So always begin with your audience. Who, who, who is your target audience? Who are the people you're speaking to? Who is listening to? Who wants to listen to you? What are their needs? What you know? What do they desire? What are their their pain? What are their suffering? What are their goals? Well, always begin with the audience in mind. I love this proverb. Proverbs twenty seven twenty three says, "Be sure you know the condition of your flocks. And give careful attention to your herds. So know know who they are." What do they need? What's their condition? What are, what are they going through? The more you know about them, the better you can communicate to them. And I created this acrostic of the, the NBA. It's not the National Basketball Association, but it's the need-based approach. Need-based approach. Everything that you do, focus on the, find out what the need, needs are, the problems are, and then you can begin to supply uh, those needs. How do you do that? Well, I learned from my mentor, Dr. John Maxwell. Maybe you've, you've heard of him. Uh, he's you know the number one writer in um, leadership, communication, personal development in the world. A fantastic man of God has written over seventy books, and he was an inspiration to my life to to read books. And I had a privilege of interpreting for him many years ago when he came. To Brazil, and I did a, a certification program with the John Maxwell team, and many things that I teach today, uh, I was taught by my mentor and master John Maxwell. And one of the things that John said, and he wrote a book, um, he talked about connecting. You know, you need to connect before you communicate. Connect with the people before you communicate with the people. And, and his quote is this, if I only had 10 minutes to speak, I would spend three minutes connecting with the audience, with my audience. And that's so powerful because if there's no connection, people are not going to listen to you, no matter how important the subject is, they, they're going to shift their minds off. They're not going to listen to you. But once you connect with them, and there's some great ways of doing that, and I've shown, uh, you know, show and tell here um, that you can know who they are, uh, interact with them, ask questions, you know, use humor. There's so many great ways of doing that. So remember this, before you communicate, connect with the people that you are speaking to. Use humor to connect. Well, it's, you know, I just shared the story of uh, the elderly couple, you know, the Daisy story. That's a fantastic story. And it applies to everything we're doing today. Uh, because, you know, when people laugh, there's humor, they relax, they begin to open themselves to the messenger. And once they're open to the messenger, they're open to listen to the message that he's doing. So that's why I started that. And I use humor. I'm not a, I'm not a clown. But I use humor as a great way of communicating, connecting, bridging the humor from the story to the contents that you are about to deliver. So that's a powerful, great tool. And I've had the privilege of communicating now for the past 
uh, 10 years to over 300,000 people all over the world in over 10 countries. What a great joy, what a great privilege. And today is my honor to be communicating to you through the means of technology here on YouTube and, and then later on with WhatsApp and so many other ways. And that's a fantastic opportunity that we have to communicate and deal with people. I've been teaching for many years in a uh, prestigious uh, institute of leadership around the world and always connecting with different people, different from, from different countries, from different places, different cultures. And one of the things that I always think is it doesn't matter how, how big or small the group is. You know, maybe in a picture with two or 3,000 people, it may be a group of 10 or 20 or 30 people. It doesn't matter. The important is for you to deliver and to fulfill your, your call your, and, and your ministry. And <clears throat> many years ago, I was living in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And there is a, there's a, a ministry called um, OM, Operation Mobilization. And they had this ship called Logos 2. And one of the conferences that the ship was, you know, go around the world, they, they had a, a floating library, they had doctors. And one of the things that they also offered was a, a session, you know, full day session of leadership training to leaders from those countries. And I was with my wife in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And we, we said, well, let's, let's go to this, let's go to this event at the Logo ship. And so we were there, beautiful auditorium, about you know 400 seats, and they were serving breakfast in the morning. And, and we looked around, and there was like seven of us only. So we ate breakfast, and and then you know we looked at the whole. Can you imagine 400 seat auditorium, empty? And then the director of this uh, ministry. Uh, he came to talk to us and he says, well, you know, usually this event is sold out in all the countries we go. There's people outside. So we have to, you know, block their entrance. But he says, you know, we, we, um, I learned many, many years ago, a, a great quote. And he says, I, I want to, I want to share this, this, this quote with you. He said this, listen to this quote that he said. It doesn't matter how many apples are in a tree, but how many trees are in an apple. That's him, Frank Dietz. And he says, you know, I we're disappointed not to see all the people here. He says, but you know what? We're going to do the entire training as if there were 400 people in this auditorium. And I was blown away with that attitude. And it was so good that I learned that because as a speaker, as a communicator, sometimes you prepare so much and, and you expect a lot of people to be listening to you and then just a handful of people show up. Well, I learned that. It doesn't matter how many trees are, apples are in a tree, but how many trees are in an apple. And the fact that you're here today tells me that you are an incredible person and I can see many trees inside you this wonderful apple. So I'm going to give you the, the best that I can in, in these short minutes in this subject, in this area of communication. Another thing is, you know, we are living in a, in a unique way, uh, in a unique uh, time of history that we have technology, we have social media. And, and so we are used to, before the pandemic, you're just doing most things live with people, you know, in, in person. But then pandemic came, you know, COVID and all of that, and everybody is in their homes. But thank God we have these means of communication. So why should we also, besides communicating individually, we should do social media, use these means? And I, I like to reflect with you on how things have changed, you know, the the, the old traditional ways of communicating in the new ways, because there's so many things, so many platforms. And I like for you to understand how you can use 
well, it used to be tra traditional, but, but now it's, it's a new way of doing this um, that will really impact and make a difference. Remember the old days of mail, of sending a letter, posting, licking, stamping, taking, you know, weeks or months to get around the world. Now you have instant email. It's fantastic. Let's use it. The good old radio. Now you have podcasts. So you can start a radio program from your computer, from your cell phone on podcasts. You also have, you know, all the television networks, all of that. Today, you can have your own TV stations on YouTube, like we're doing here today. It's fantastic. In the past, you know, there was talk shows. Now you can have, you know, live talk shows on Facebook and connect with audiences that like and, and, and love the same things. The good old traditional room, classroom with the with the desks and the chairs. Now there's e-learning, so many courses, so many things online, mentoring programs, all of that. It's fantastic at the palm of your cell phone or tablet or computer. Remember the photo albums now? You just show your photos on Instagram or on your photo album. It's amazing, all digital. Before you had to you know, have those old big directories or libraries for information. Now you can ask everything to Dr. Google. He knows everything. It's amazing the things you can learn on Google. And the, the good old catalogs people printed and, and, and distributed on mail. Now your catalog is, is a website. And there you can not only order and click to buy it online, and it, you know, the next day or a few days it's in your house. You know, I didn't put the record there, the vinyl records, but some of you are down the vinyl days. Then you have the CD. Now everything is digital on on um, Spotify and some other audio means that you can share your message or audience in audio. TV commercials now, TikTok is, is you know, growing so fast. Uh, before, you, there was like evangelistic tracks. Now there's blogs you can from your computer, share a story, a blog, a news, an event. The good old Sunday school, now you have online courses, everything online and cell groups they met um, in person, now they're doing everything online. And I love the books, books are great, but now there's, uh, you know, across the lines internationally, you can have eBooks that people can read your eBooks in any language in, in, in different countries. Sometimes you have to attend uh, conferences with people now, you, like we're doing here, this kind of like an online conference and we can connect and talk and share. It's a fantastic thing. And in the past you had your business card. Now you have a, an account on LinkedIn. That's your new business card. Um, head, headline news, you want to know what's learning and happening around the world? Now you can just on Twitter, you can comment on, on that. In the good old telephone, now you have WhatsApp. <laughs> and most of you got the information about this through WhatsApp uh, with the text, with the picture, with the link and all of that. And before you had to develop a sales team, now you do a sales funnel where you develop awareness, interest, decision and action with everybody. And then look at this. Before you needed a typewriter, a camera, a recorder, to watch the weather, uh, a conference, GPS, maps, Rolodex, tickets. You need to go to the bank, a wallet, a Bible, office, a studio, alarm clock, a TV, radio, letter, books, assistant, telephone, all of that today you have in, in this, in a smartphone. Smartphone. Smartphones are, were made to make us smarter, okay? So that's good. All of that. And the one feature people use the least on the smartphone is the actual talking on the phone. That's mind blowing. This is what the Apostle Paul shared so many years ago, and I think it's so true for us today. He says, I have become all things to all men, so that by all possible means I might save some. 
So we're talking about possible means. First of all, it's good to know that it's possible. And second, that we have all these different ways of communicating with people. Uh, that's why means it also means media. So by all multimedia we, we have available, we have to use this to better communicate with other people. So do that, not just for entertainment, but for you to share and communicate a wonderful message that you want to do with other fantastic, fantastic people. So are you are you using all possible means? Well, I hope you are. I hope you do, because that's going to be make a difference, a true difference in your life. Let me give you an incredible secret. You know, I've been writing books now for over 10 years. And uh, but now we have to write, you know, for Twitter, you have to write a post on Instagram, you have to write on Facebook, you have to write a text on WhatsApp or email. And, and I want to share with you, you know, a great skill for you to communicate. It's a framework that will help you write just about anything that you like for people to interact with you, engage with you. Write this down. Look at this. This is a fantastic um, they call it a friend, a track. I call this the Mario. Mario's attractive uh, framework, the GPS. Take note of this GPS. The G stands for the goal, the P for the problem, and the S for the solution. So, when do we need a GPS? Well, usually when you're lost and when you want to go somewhere. So you can begin at, by asking people about their goals, their dreams, their objectives, what they would like to do if they had the resources, the opportunity. Ask those questions. And then you will say, well, you know, maybe for you to reach those dreams and those goals, how come you haven't done so? Well, because of P, because there's a problem. There's a difficulty, maybe lack of resources, funds, or or, or lack of opportunity, or because of illness, or this or that. And then you can say, well, but there's a way for you to you know, reach your goals and overcome the problem. What is the solution? Your content, you, what the service you provided, the product you created, that's the solution you want to share with people. So let's apply this to, you know, to communicating here. Um, a goal. Well, everybody likes to communicate better. Oh, well, that's a that's a dream. That's a goal everybody has. The problem. Well, the problem. Houston, we have a problem. Most people don't know how because they haven't. Somebody hasn't taught them, or they haven't learned with mentors. They just, they just don't know how to do it. They just don't know how to do one-on-one -on -one communication. They just don't know how to write. They just don't know how to use technology. Well, there's a solution. The solution there is a mentoring program there is a you know a training course there's there's this and that so try to apply that to any area of your life you know and you can do incredible things with with the gps here's another example i've always dreamed about spending quality time with my family the problem well however business and the busyness of life are preventing me from presenting that from happening. What's the solution? Well, I discovered that I need to be intentional with people I love by blocking time for them in my weekly and daily schedule. Does that make sense to you? So you see, that's a great strategy. If you just learn this, apply this right now in your life, you're going to communicate better with your spouse, with your children, with people in business, your co-workers, with your staff, with your clients, everybody you service, write this, and this is going to be a great tool, okay? I hope you enjoy that. Wonder, it's, it's a great gift. One of the best things I can give you right now is this, this opportunity to develop this GPS. I, I consider the, the experience of communicating is it's like flying a plane. I'm not a pilot, but I've flown for over over 50 years in my life. I started with, as a kid, four or five years old. And, you know, 
before a communication is a process and you know before the plane is up in the air you know cruising altitude there's a lot of things that he does still you know park there at the gate and then he goes to the to the runway and then you know he max out the, the power of the plane and he he goes really fast and then he begins to fly into, until he reaches altitude then that's when they do the service the service they they provide food, entertainment for everybody, relaxation, rest. And then at the end, he delivers and lands safely in their uh, destination point. Communication and presentation is, is part an art and part a science. And, and it's the more you know the art, the more, more you know the science, the better you can communicate with, with other people. And that's why I came up with this incredible idea, uh, developing a, a, a concept which I call the transformational communication. First of all, it needs to transform you. You need to be transformed. Before you can transform others, you've got to do that. You have to, you have to be willing to say, you know, I like to learn. I like to be challenged and, and, and learn something different that will change forever the way I communicate. And since it's transformational for you, and you begin to learn the art and the skill of doing that, it will become transformation for the for your audience, for the people that you impact. So I put together this incredible mentoring, exclusive mentoring program to help people communicate like they have never done before, using all the resources available for individual communication and also for online communications like we're doing right now. We have put together a six week program, live and online program. And we're beginning um, a new group now in this month of January. We're gonna go through Christmas and New Year's. And so you can begin the new year with an incredible opportunity to, to develop this skill to for you to become an outstanding communicator and see one of the greatest curves of growth and productivity in your life. With these six weeks of encounter, I'm going to deliver over nine hours of contents every, you know, th through the whole process, an hour and a half per week of live content, and another six hours of live Q&A. And it's going to be on Saturdays. The, the dates are the encounters for the live Q&A, Saturday, January 8, 15, 22, 29, February 5th and 12th, all at 5 p.m., you know, plus GMT, which is about uh, two, two hours, two hours ago. I think it's the correct uh, that time, if I'm GMT. And, um, and, the, and this is an incredible program that you can be a part of. Let me give you... A little bit about this unique program and then the journey what we're going to experience in, the, in this journey well first of all is the process and the success of communication the more you understand that the better you communicate also talk about preparation the secrets of preparations how you prepare a pre presentation talk about the the, the sos Talk about other strategies, how you can really understand more about your audience so you can speak directly to their hearts. This is also a module, you know, encounter number three, how to build great PowerPoints, like the ones I'm showing you today. How you, there's, there's, there's an art to this, but there's some principles you follow and they will always become fantastic looking. Uh, the power of colors in photo taking, we all take pictures, we all, need that in our communication well how do you do that for your post how do you do that for your personal profile all of that those are a million i call the million dollar session the power of colors uh, they really make a big difference and also secrets for online and live presentations like this one like a online training like i uh, uh, you can use for live events on whatsapp and and also for Instagram and so many other things, there are secrets. And, and for this, I've been, I study journalism, I study communication about lights, about backgrounds, about camera positionings, all of that. I'm, I'm going to give you incredible secrets on this, on how 
how to do a great live presentation. And then the last session is a graduation ceremony where, you know, the students will share, you know, what they, their, what they learned. We'll see the before and after, and there's an incredible, beautiful certificate that they will receive. Uh, and it's a fantastic time of celebration, rejoicing to see how much we have learned in only a short period of six weeks. If anybody were to contract, you know, a, a mentoring program like this today in the world, there's there's a market price of about five thousand dollars for mentorship like this. But I decided to break this down and and have give access to several individuals to do a mentor, an exclusive group mentorship. So for only four ninety seven per person, that's it, four ninety seven. We need a minimum of 10 participants and the maximum of 20 participants in this group. So we can really have a great time of interaction. I can answer questions and we can really maximize uh, our, our time and our investment together. So that's it, this one time fee and you can be part of this group. And I wanna to propose to all of you a, a chance to give you some bonuses uh, for you that would like to register this weekend, what are you going to receive? One bonus is an individual online mentoring session with me to help you with your, maybe a presentation you have, maybe with a strategy, a marketing strategy. Um, you would like to review something that you've done, you want to improve. Whatever that hour is yours, I'm here to serve you in whatever capacity you want. That's my, that's my, premium bonus for you. I also selected four of my books, The Four Seasons of Life, Giving Up's Not an Option, My Work, My Ministry, also endorsed by Dr. John Haggai, and I Am Third. All these four books, there's a great value over $100. I want to give access to you immediately so you can download these e-books and, and read them. And lastly, my last book that I published is uh, reset your day and I, there's a complete audio version of this book that I would like to, for you to have immediate access by signing up this weekend okay what do you need to do well it's pretty simple to, to join this exclusive group sign up right now go to the website mariusumois.com slash transform you can take a picture of this now and you can type it on the browser don't go there now but just Get this ready because you can go and can see the information that's there. This video is, is going to be there as we finish here. This video is going to be there for you to listen again uh, and review everything we're talking about. If you missed anything, you can always go there and review from that, that site. I've been teaching this that you, know, you pay a price to develop yourself. However, you pay a greater price to remain as you are. Well, you're going to pay a price anyway. I hope you pay a price to develop yourself, not to remain as you are, but to improve yourself. And I know everything in your life is going to change when you do that. There's a funny story of this guy. He was, you know, in his mid thirties and he wanted to find out about his future. So he went to this lady and says, you know, look at the crystal ball and tell me about my future. And, uh, and she looked and she says, well, I can see that you know, you're going to be uh, poor and broke by the age of 40. And he says, but what happens after that? And then she says, the problem is you get used to it after that. And so many people are just used to life as it is. If they were able to change something, they could have incredible changes in their lives. So I, why is this for you? Why should you be a part of this? Well, if you don't make any changes, nothing will ever change in you, neither in your personal or professional life. You make changes, changes begin to happen in your life. As you, your ability to better communicate increases, so will your authority increase among people. Are you interested in having more authority in your field of expert, uh, expertise as an engineer, 
as a trainer, as a teacher, as a professional, well, the more you communicate, the more your authority will increase in that area. It's fantastic to know that. This skill, once you develop it in all the facets that I've been talking about, this skill will help you fish for life. My life was changed forever once I began to develop the area of communication, of oral speaking and also uh, speaking, uh, teaching, training, and then using technology like we're using today. And if it, and I was a, a very shy person, and I was able to change that and learn the art, learn the skill, develop the skill, and that has opened up an entire new ministry for my life of, of reaching hundreds and thousands of people. I know you can do the same and change uh, forever your life. I know you want to communicate well. I know you have a goal. And maybe there's a problem. And I know that this training, this mentoring session is a great solution for you. So why, why do I do this? Why am I offering this? Well, four reasons. I want to share with you what I've learned from my mentors. My mentors, uh, John Maxwell, my mentor Zig Ziglar, so many other... John, John Hagen, so many other fantastic mentors. I have been given a lot. I'd like to share what I've learned. I also learned that, you know, I am a river and not a reservoir. I just don't want to be collecting information. I want to share people how to do it, how they can become great, successful professionals. I also believe that communication is one of the keys to personal and professional success. I really believe that. And the last thing is, I love to inspire people to become more successful. That's what, that's what motivates me to write books. That's what motivates me to teach, to, to present, uh, you know, be a blessing to people through live seminars and, and mentoring programs like this. And this is my last, uh, my quotes. Whenever people learn to, to communicate better, the entire world becomes a better place. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Well, I like if you let me like to, if it, this makes sense to you, everything I'm sharing here, just I want you to share. Go there now on your, on the um, on the comments on here on the chat, and it says, you know, what's the one thing you you listen to in this in these um, forty minutes that we've been sharing together? One thing that added value to you that says it was worth it to be here. Just just put just a comment there. You know, I love this. I learned that. Let me, is, is this making sense to you? Go ahead, you can do that. El Shaddai, praise the Lord. Okay, there's a, a former student of mine from Riyadh, El Shaddai International. I had a privilege to be your student at Haggai International, Maui. September 18, wonderful, fantastic, fantastic. Thanks for sharing that. Does this make sense to you? And, and what, tell me one thing that was worth it that you learned that you, know, you enjoy about this brief workshop on communication. Somebody else. And, and while you're typing there, let me just go here on, on my, my presentation, just add, uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me. This is my WhatsApp. I'm going to leave it here on the screen. Um, any questions about this before you, you commit, you want to write to me. That's my personal WhatsApp. I will um, be my privilege to, to answer any of, the, any of those questions. So here's somebody, Patty. I lose out on the opportunity because I am poor in communication. Yep. Opportunities are going to slip away when don't you, you, learn, you don't communicate as well. Yeah. But you can change that, right, Patty? You can change. Dr. Kumar here, how many seeds are in an apple? Isn't that fantastic? That's wonderful. And I can see many, many apples here, many trees inside you. That's a great, that's a, that's, that's a great takeaway. Anybody else would like to share? 
what um, <clears throat> what you have learned today that was meaningful to you in this area of communication. And just take note of my WhatsApp number, 551195262626, okay? And I will answer you and I'll connect with you, give you all the answers you need uh, for you to do that. Okay, any more questions? Anybody else? Okay, let me move forward here. Again, uh, how you can join this exclusive group, sign up right now, marisumoiscom slash transform, and all the information is there for you. There's a link to PayPal and all of that. And again, the investment, if you're to pay this individually, but since it's the online, we need to have a, a minimum of 10 people, a maximum of 20. And I really hope you can be a part of that group. Again, the bonuses that are there, an exclusive mentoring session with me, besides all of the courses, my four books, and also the audio book to reset your day. Okay, well, that's the mentoring program. Any more questions that you might have for me that you'd like to uh, send, I'll be glad to answer them as you're writing them right now. It would be great to do that. Le Lidi, was this, was this good for you? Christy, was it good? Arif, uh, Logan, uh, Logan says, okay. Uh, Patty, Dr. Kumar, um, Emilian, Warlin, the ones I see here, Archie, um, Boo Boy, okay. Was this, was this good for you? You enjoyed this? Look forward to hearing from you on my WhatsApp. If you have any information, visit the website, and I know you will be tremendously impacted by everything that we do here, okay? I just wanted to give you this gift, and I do look forward to hearing from you, any questions you have. And if you so desire, it would be my privilege to work with you as we develop this incredible uh, partnership so I can be in Brazil and be a blessing to your life and help you achieve all the dreams, all the plans, all the goals that God has prepared for you. So another contact here, Patty. I did enjoy. Fantastic. Wonderful. Look forward to seeing you on the other side as well. So like I mentioned, we're going to be quick. It's uh, We're closing now on 50 minutes, and I'm going to wrap it up here. I want to thank you for your opportunity that you gave me to, to come to you and share this. And it will be my honor to continue to add more. This was just a small glimpse. Can you imagine this? Um, nine hours plus six, over 15 hours of being together and, and, and also having an exclusive mentorship with you, uh, mentorship session. So I'm here to serve you. Thank you so much for your time. God bless all of you. Look forward to reading your comments as you send them on my WhatsApp so we can continue our relationship, okay? Love you guys. God bless you. And let me close with this wonderful countdown, okay? God bless you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the mentoring program. Bye-bye.